I think most of the time when we talk about war, I mean, there uh, often was it that we a lot of overlap. Actually, it is basically the sharing of ideas among uh, all one of us. Actually, everybody does. But like, uh, uh, sir was asking, it's a very sad thing that most of the project is done like a project. So most of the time during the elements, also we come across this connectivity problem. And. Uh, a lot has been spoken about diabetes and we are going to the capital of diabetes or so many other diseases. I'll just skip all those things. If you don't want to have sugar, you should maintain your figure actually. Figure and sugar go together, I think. <laughs> if your figure is bad, you are 100% sure to get sugar and with all these things and urbanization. This is becoming a big menace and previously we used to have white screen TV just to watch the program well, but now it is proportionate to the size of the people who are sitting at home. So that uh, 32 inch is proportionate to the waist, waist size of the people who are sitting and watching it actually. So going by all these things, we'll just directly go into the uh, telescreening model. Why we have to go for uh, like uh, screening? Because even as per the WHO also, it's becoming a big um, public health problem and uh, most of the people are in the productive age group. Even otherwise also in that age group, the productivity of Indians is less. When they get the diabetes, it becomes much worse and with that number, it is almost uh, nil actually. So, in order to overcome this enormous public health burden, it is better to screen them well in advance to prevent this disease. So, as I said, actually initially the DR project started as a project with Lions Club International with the purpose of training, awareness creation, outreach, activity, tertiary care, and finally we have a developed a delivery and service model which has been replicated by many of the hospital. And this happened in uh, the southern part of India, and these are the funding agents for that. So basically, it is a three-way participation. Most of these uh, diabetic screening projects are three-way participation, unlike uh, CAPRAC, which is a two-way participation between the community and the eye care provider. But whereas in this, you need one more partnering agent who will be doing the screening of diabetes, because without screening of diabetes, it's not possible to screen the diabetic retinopathy, because we cannot go and do the uh, screening of diabetes because it's going to cost a lot. So we need another partner in agent. But the basic problem is none of the people are happy with these camps. Because if you take 100 people and do cataract, at least 95 will be praising the organizers. Maybe if that person contests the election, they might vote for it. Mm -hmm. But in this case, actually, if you take none of them will vote for it because nobody is satisfied. You are going to screen 100 people, 80 will not have retinopathy, you are going to ask them after one year. Twenty will have some retinopathy, they will be followed up after six months and only two or three percent will be having some retinopathy. retinopathy. So the basic problem is even to convince the sponsors it's very difficult. So this is the protocol in case uh, if you are going and screening for diabetes, first the diabetic patients are screened and then we do the diabetic retinopathy screening, then uh, people who are required are referred actually. And this is uh, the flow chart. And this is one of the camps which is not uh, the purpose of this. But why we need the uh, telescreening because a lot has been spoken in the first talk only. And the most important thing is a uh, lot of uh, people are working in the rural, I mean urban areas and nobody wants to work in the rural area. And India, yeah, everybody sees it's an agriculture country. I don't think any of us would like to become, like, make our children an agriculturist. Right? So a lot of paradox. We talk. We talk a lot. We talk as if we are worried about the rural people, but in fact none actually. So. Uh, we have got uh, three or four uh, tele ophthalmology models and this has happened with the TIFACO, TOPCON, WDF and ISRO and uh, it's basically because information technology, it has bridged the gap actually. It has not only bridged the gap between the what you call uh, the healthcare provider and uh, the people who are in need. It has in fact revolutionized the needs of so many people also in this country and because of that the what you call uh, geography has become history and the first model is as usual the van model we have got a van which uses the VSAT connectivity of the ISRO which is provided free of cost previously but now very honestly speaking we are not using this van for quite some time because there is some problem with the connectivity with the satellite maybe once we get the reconnection of the satellite we will be using it and this is basically high risk screening because already the patients who are known to have diabetes will take fungus images and the images are sent to the base hospital, usually we do it as a real time. And the images are graded and the report is sent back. So basically what we do in the screening area, the fungus camera is there 
will uh, capture the demographics and everything is uh, with the EMR actually. So we use EMR for this. The data related to is diabetic status. And through the satellite, all this uh, usually will be, uh, we were taking five fields. Now we go for a single field. It is sent to the base hospital. Ideally, it should be graded by the <coughs> two graders. And in case of any problem, it should be reviewed by a retina specialist. But again, for want of time and personal, we, it is graded by only one person. And uh, this is a software we use. It's called as Arthas, I mean, diabetic uh, retinopathy evaluation software, actually. And this is a sort of a semi automated And it, this is more of a, what do you call, uh, modified ETDRS. And all the person who is grading have to do is just sit, answer the question, whether the page, uh, the micro are present or not, and just keep answering the questions. And in case if you have got any doubt about any standard photographs, you can always click on the standard photograph. Uh, the standard photograph 2 years, 80, everything will pop up so that you can compare the image which you are seeing with the, top of the standard photograph. And the doubt can always be clear. And we have got one more matrix for retinopathy. And once uh, the questions are answered, it generates a report actually. It will say whether the patient has got uh, mild or moderate or whatever it may be. But we have the liberty to overwrite. Because sometimes you'll be seeing BRU or CRU, but still it might say it has uh, severe NPDR. So we have the liberty to overwrite and we can always uh, advise them what exactly is the condition and uh, then the report is sent to the uh, van where the people are counseled. This is this. So this is how the van functions. This is a van with the satellite connectivity. The patient comes after capturing the data. The image is uh, taken. The images are sent to the base hospital with this no connectivity. It hardly takes 20 to 30 minutes for the whole turnover. The images are graded and the report is sent back. Where we have a counsellor who will be counselling about the uh, condition of a retinopathy to the patient and they are uh, called back for the The second model is working with diabetes. We have already seen that it is high risk screening, the opportunistic screening. This we have been doing for quite some time and now under a project we are going to connect with uh, more than 30-40 ophthalmologists around. So it is basically the ophthalmologist clinic will have a trained technician who is basically trained by us. They will have a non mediatic camera with a slit lab. And this particular person, as well as the patient enters, will be doing the preliminary workup. And by the time the patient goes for the other test, his pupil is most of the time dilated, the images are taken and sent to us through a DSL internet net network. And it is the same actually. Once it comes to the base hospital, the images are read and graded and it's sent back. And this, unlike the previous model, uses the internet connectivity. And So here the patient comes. Once we record the details, the slit lamp examination and the images are taken. And basically the images are sent in the same software. It's called a SATLAS, which has got two modules, the plant and the server module. And the images are graded. And as I told, it's a semi-automated and we can override. The patient is given the data. The nice thing about it is like most of the diabetic clinic have got a huge uh, patient database. So, and uh, they know when to follow up with these patients. So they give a proper timing. In case if they need a tertiary care, they are always asked to come to the base hospital for anything. And they are, these are the hospitals with uh, whom we are uh, collaborating. And in fact, now we have uh, expanded this to almost 20. And the last uh, model using tele-ophthalmology, this is more than tele-diabetes, it's more of tele-ophthalmology, this is uh, in the vision centers. Because one of the studies by us shows that only 7% of the people in the rural area who require, uh, will need uh, what do you call uh, this, uh, accessing the eye care. So in this, because of that we have these vision centers, the investment is quite less. I just uh, skip the video. So it's basically small innovation thinking. So the slit lamp, through the slit lamp there is an adapter and what we use is a regular digital camera, digital fundus camera. And with the help of 90D the images are taken. And 
we uh, we can just create and this <coughs> is what only level one validation mm -hmm. and finally in summary it can be done from the fixed locations all you need is a broadband and ISG and connectivity you don't need any need for a, it obviates the need for any data specialist the most important thing is when we screen from the machine center or from the from the clinic it uses opportunity screening for the diabetic ectopathy so that it is easy for us to what do you call uh, counsel the patient also and it needs only trained technicians and uh, trained graders in addition to that in this activity we do a lot of uh, consultancy and training thing and uh, I am a part of this Arbit Flying Hospital also and we have trained people in China in this project and finally using information technology to screen diabetic ectopathy is quite uh, gratifying actually but for that we need to improve the human resources and as everybody was telling a comprehensive approach to deal with the diabetes is much better than just to see the eye. Thank you.